Hi, my name is Jerem Salame and I'm originally from Lebanon. I have a bachelor's in architecture and right now finishing my master thesis in city and regional planning at UAS under the title of Assessing Accessibility and Quality in the Urban Redevelopment of the Post-Industrial Sites of Storaug Waterfront. So the site uh, in my thesis is this Turhaug Waterfront. Turhaug is an area in Stavanger. Uh, it, is, uh, it was previously known to be this uh, industrial hub. Uh, and right now my focus is the waterfront part that has still some of the remaining uh, previously industrial buildings. Uh, and I want to assess the accessibility and quality of the space because it's ongoing uh, undergoing redevelopment. So for the research problem, it is uh, about the challenges of accessibility and quality during these redevelopment processes. Are they being tackled or not? Uh, so the aim is to evaluate that. And I have uh, developed three research questions. One that's concerned with accessibility to the waterfront, like is this redevelopment making it uh, feasible to access it? Uh, the second one is about the quality. Is this transformation improving the quality of the space or not? And the last one is about the relationship between both accessibility and quality and how influential are they on each other? For methodology, I used literature review, spatial analysis, spatial analysis and evaluation criteria uh, to develop uh, the literature review, developed me my theoretical framework. The spatial analysis, uh, I made my maps and translated the current condition in the site. Uh, and evaluation criteria gave a more in-depth uh, and an objective uh, insight on the current situation uh, right now. Uh, as for limitations, it would have been uh, even more thorough to have behavioral mapping, uh, quantitative analysis, or interviews and questionnaires. As for my main concepts, their accessibility, which has physical, visual, interpretive, and psychological accessibility. Uh, and the second concept is the quality of the waterfronts, which has good form, legibility, vitality, uh, comfort and meaning. So for analysis I included this general map with uh, an overview of the analysis points that I made. We have uh, lots of uh, dead ends like so. We have disconnections in the path along the waterfront. We have underutilized open spaces and disconnected public parks like in these two sites and a dominance of residential areas and not a mixed-use development. Uh, and I analyzed maps concerning terrain and landscape, environment, transportation and infrastructure, social infrastructure, building morphology, accessibility, and uh, the overall waterfront experience. This helped come up with the SWOT analysis as part of the findings and results uh, and these uh, Points in the SWOT analysis, they also help to make uh, the discussion more concrete. They highlighted certain aspects that weren't uh, as obvious before and uh, overall contributed to the uh, entire thesis. They also answered my research questions uh, with the uh, accessibility being a challenging aspect, quality is compromised, and uh, both accessibility and quality are influential over each other. Then I came up with uh, three strategies for recommendations about accessibility and connectivity, mixed use uh, development on the waterfront, and uh, using temporary installations for such sites that are constantly ongoing redevelopment. As for how does this contribute to the field of planning, it improves future projects, it elevates the planning standards, and it promotes public participation in general. Uh, we learn from past mistakes, we elevate our regulations, and we engage the community even more in the design process. Yes, and this was a very brief overview of my thesis. Uh, thank you for listening, and you can uh, feel free to contact me on my listed email, LinkedIn profile, or even phone number for further questions. Uh, thank you so much.